Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, Kelly NFA. I'm Kelly, and for anyone new here, I have a rare neuromuscular disorder called Friedrich's ataxia. FA affects my balance coordination progressively, so I was diagnosed at 18. Now at 27, I need to use a walker to get around or a scooter for longer distance. Today, I want to talk a little bit about genetics. I just spoke at a NORD conference. NORD is the National Organ Organization for Rare Disease. A few months ago, I was asked to speak on a panel for newly diagnosed patients and families all about genetic testing. So I was there to give my patient perspective on genetic testing. And then there was also a genetic counselor and a doctor who studies genetics. So my part was really just kind of to introduce the subject and give my perspective of what happened. I wasn't expected to know everything about genetic testing because honestly I don't so I wanted to make a little video to kind of talk about genetic testing within FA I briefly gave a little background if you've seen my channel you know a little bit I'm living in Columbus I was born in Cleveland had a pretty active childhood. I was always clumsy, but we just thought I was skinny and uncoordinated. Then in high school, my clumsiness got worse and I had trouble. <coughs> I had trouble with things like the bleachers and going up and down stairs. And even things like walking in a straight line. It was very, very challenging for me. So I was diagnosed with Friedrich's ataxia when I was 18, right before high school graduation. As you probably know, that is a very transitional, challenging time for anyone. So receiving a huge health diagnosis is very difficult. I realized I sort of blocked all of this out of my memory. I remember being in the hospital with my dad, but I don't remember specifics. And it wasn't that long ago. I should remember a little bit more. So I've come to the conclusion it's kind of a defense mechanism since I did have a really hard time accepting this new information it makes sense that my brain kind of blocked out this memory in march 2011 right before high school graduation my primary care physician noted that there was some muscle weakness in me and she referred me to a neurologist a few weeks later, that neurologist thought it could be F.A. I, he really had a feeling that it was F.A., but he also recommended genetic testing to confirm the diagnosis. A few days later, I had my blood drawn to be sent for genetic testing to see if it was Friedrich's ataxia. It wasn't until the end of June that we received the confirmed diagnosis. So as I mentioned, I don't remember any of this. Totally blocked it out, but my parents, they recall feeling extremely anxious and worried during this time because honestly it was a very long time to wait they were still hopeful that it wasn't fa it wouldn't be confirmed as fa and as you probably know there are no treatments or cures currently for fa 
So this was horrible news from my parents to receive. I wasn't thrilled about it either, but I can't remember what was going on inside my head at the time. So we finally got the results back that it was a fae. And then from there, we found the organization, FARA. It's the Friedrichs Ataxia Research Alliance. And they provide funding for research for FA. I'm currently an ambassador for FARA. So every person you get chromosomes from your mother and your father. Basically, both of my parents were carriers of the gene mutation, which causes FA. Each of their children will have a 25% chance of having FA. I won the gene lottery. I have a brother and sister who do not have FA. They could potentially be carriers since we know that both of my parents are carriers, but that is not something they need to worry about until they're ready to have children one day. If I ever want to have children one day, I need to speak to a genetic counselor and figure it out. Basically, my partner would need to be tested to see if he was a carrier of FA. And if he wasn't a carrier, there would be no chance of our child having FA. No one in my family that we know of has ever had FA. My parents had no idea that they were carriers. So yeah, let me know if you have any questions. I will do my best to answer, but fair warning, I am not an expert in genetics. I know all about my life living with FA, but I'm not an expert and I'll do my best or redirect you to someone who can answer. Thank you so much for joining Head Subscribe so you stay up to date on all my videos and hopefully I'll see you next time. Bye guys!